breaking. Obama suspended her life sentence. What happened next is sickening. We were well aware that former President Obama did some pretty shady stuff while he was in office until now, however. We were kept in the dark about what he was doing for some life-term prisoners. A Texas woman named Carol Denise Richardson was released courtesy of a clemency order from Obama. Richardson was serving a life sentence stemming back to a 2006 conviction for conspiracy to dispute 50 plus grams of crack cocaine and two charges of having the drugs on her person with intent to distribute. Now she is back in jail after Obama let her out because, brace yourselves, she got caught stealing $60 worth of laundry detergent to buy drugs via Breitbart. When you dig deep into Obama and his history of the pardons he issued when he was president, a disturbing trend begins to appear. Obama pardoned a staggering number of people. In fact, if you go back and count, then you discover that he pardoned more than the last nine presidents combined. Most of the people released from prison by Obama were locked up on federal drug charges. We also notice that uh, littered in those federal drug charges are a whole lot of distribution charges. You have to wonder why exactly those charges are being pardoned. Furthermore, you have to wonder why Obama was moved to issue so many pardons for these types of crimes over any other. Assistant U.S. Attorney Ted Imperato had this to say regarding Richardson. This defendant was literally given a second chance to become a productive member of society and wasted it, he said. Imperato, Imperato uh, brings up an eye-opening point here, especially when coupled with the fact that she was initially charged with conspiracy to traffic drugs. Uh, thematically, Operation Fast and Furious comes to mind when we read through the aforementioned charges. In case you are not familiar, Fast and Furious was an operation executed during the Obama administration that was downright insane. The feds would knowingly distribute drugs money and weapons to the Mexican cartels and then attempt to track everything in hopes of catching the higher-ups in criminal organizations. Oddly, we cannot name one single big player that was taken down from the cartel during this time. It is possible that Obama was using civilians to traffic drugs for the cartel in exchange for money and immunity. Why else would he be letting so many drug distributors out of prison? It doesn't ma make sense at all. It would not be surprising to discover that some of the people he had running the drugs tried, uh, tried them out of curiosity or were addicts from the start. If they sampled the offerings that were given to them, wouldn't it be completely possible that Obama would have them locked up because the experiment failed? No evidence exists to confirm this story, but it sure makes a whole lot of sense. Obama is no stranger to the world of shady dealing, so it wouldn't surprise us in the slightest. All we know is justice needs to be served. If Obama cannot come up with a logical reason why he would release a large number of drug traffickers, we need a full-fledged investigation immediately. He was, uh, yeah, he let a lot of people out of prison, that's for sure. The nine presidents combined. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.